Why, hello everybody, and welcome back to Airport CEO. Yes, it's great to be back. This is um, our next part, really, in our multi-part series of Airport CEO Alpha 35. And we are here today to look at a couple of things. Um, really, um, at the end of, uh, if you want to check back last episode, we started to look at the possibility of having two terminals. Um, I don't know whether I'm doing it 100% right, but it, it seems to work. <laughs> um, it seems to work. I mean, I don't know whether I need to do new zones um, or whatnot. I think I probably need to research that. Um, but the good news is, is we have um, these desks here operating for these three um, and these four desks operating for these three. And to the most of it, the the, the actual customers, as, as they were, um, are pretty much sticking to their sides, if that makes sense. So, yeah, seems to be working a little bit, which is which is odd. Uh, very, very strange. Um, are we fixing that? Is that why it cost us money? Yeah, that was... Oh, no. Who are you? I mean, you were just... Oh, no. There you go. That's what's costing us money. He's fixing up the sinks, which is absolutely fine. Um, we do need to make things look a bit pretty um, anyway. Uh, so we need to just make sure that these bathrooms look all pretty. There we go. Oh, how lovely. And we do need to do some decoration here as well, um, which we'll get round to. Uh, I guess we could just quickly fill it in now. Um, should we do that? And we'll come down five there to that. And then the rest of it can be marble. There we go. Oh, lovely. Um, around there, lovely. And like that, and like that. And because it's security, we can make that blue. That's right. Look at that. Wonderful stuff. So, yeah. So, in the last episode, we um, built our sort of second terminal. We also placed some vending machines dotted around here and there and everywhere. I do want to place um, another one of our vending machines uh, so the drinks one there and a food one um, just to make sure that um, our all of our patrons to our airport are accessing um, or do have accessibility to food so that's 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 important I think um, and we were just trialing this more than anything I wanted to see whether or not it would work and and you know all sorts really um, we're now waiting for our medium aircraft permit it's actually what we need to do next in our tutorial um, and then hopefully what we can start looking at is um, really trying to um, expand the airport quickly and get some of the newer newer stuff um, which would be pretty awesome I think we do have these GA flights still flying out which is nice um, and they sort of hold where they're going there we go brilliant stuff um, so yeah it all seems to work quite nicely down here um, for our GA flights they are out the way they are still taking off everything sort of works here um, so that's good news so we can be quite happy here there we go we so we've just done um, that what we want to do now um, ooh, we do want to do the floor construction permit at some point very relatively quickly too Let's do program two. Let's get that out of the way. We'll chuck three people on that. I'll chuck another one on that and one there. There we go. So all of our um, administrators are doing their job and everyone seems to be doing their jobs along the planes as well. Um, so yeah, really the next stage is to um, start to look at getting in medium aircraft. and. Let's just double check. Oh, wow, we do have flights available for here. So let's, uh, we should probably do one at 7.45. Just spread them out a little bit. There we go, lovely stuff. I don't think we have any more for Skylink at the minute, um, but that'll do. It just spreads out our, our revenue a little bit, gets us a little bit more money. Um, I'm really sure that these planes were facing forward. I don't know why. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they've always been facing sideways. I'll have to check. Um, <laughs> I'm not really sure at all. Um, but what matters is is that we can now get medium aircraft. Um, so we need to build a medium runway. Now, medium runways, um, if you've been part of the series before, you will know that um, 
medium runways cannot be placed um, lengthways on a map because they don't quite reach. So it's not a perfect square, but they can um, go diagonal. They can go this way. Basically, is what we're where we're getting at. Um, and it was interesting where I w sort of wanted to put this. I could put it miles away, but the issue is by putting it a long way away, you actually have to build a shed load of taxiway just to get to your stands. Now we could remote stand them, there is that, but I'm thinking about doing that for our smaller aircraft and having them all here and remote standed from there. Um, and we'll come to that again shortly. So for now, I was thinking if we had the runway over here, um, this is my thought. So if we had the runway down here, then what we could potentially do is build a new medium style terminal down here. That's my thought. And yeah, we want them taken off and landing that way. I've done it. I've committed. We have committed to it. Let's do it. So um, exit wise, I want it will be connected to a runway. Can you not prepare that? That seems ridiculous. Oh, it's because it's that way around. <laughs> oh dear. It's going to be a long day, everybody. Um, there we go. Excellent stuff. So then what we want to do is build some taxiway foundation. And for this, we do want to go five across. It looks more pleasing to the eyes. Um, there we go, we can move that right across there. And I think it was seven up there. Oh God, don't need that one. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Now uh, we can go five all the way across there. It's costing us a lot of money, as you can tell here. But the good news is, is we'll have a nice queuing system and traffic system here in place. So, what we'll effectively have is to get onto this part here, you have to come in there, I would say. I'm going to put that there for now, and then to exit this area, uh, we sort of want you off the runway as quickly as possible, um, but at the same time, I don't mind if you're driving down to there. Is that five across? No, six across. We only want to go five across. There we go. So you'll, you'll effectively come off. Oh, well, no, that's where you're coming on. You're coming off here. Oh, crap. I didn't think that through. Change it. Change it. Because you're taking off this way. So you're landing in this way. That makes sense. I think it's that way. Yeah. So you're landing in this way. You're going in here. Now all we want to do, you can come right down here, um, so we can actually put the exit five across there, and then the entrance needs to go five across there, because we sort of want them to go in there, and they can queue up, that doesn't bother me too much from there, I think that's, in fact we can move it up a little bit, let's move it to there, only because our building is going to be here somewhere. Then what we want to do is move this up here, give it a bit of space, and move this up here. So now we have it sort of connected. Go to there, go to there, and then five across there. So that's sort of our, you have to come in this way and then you can sort of navigate this section as you will. Then what, this is, this is actually really quite tight here. But oh well, it is what it is. Um, then what we want to do is I'm going to put the new... Uh, and then I'm going to put... Should we go 15 there? We're going to get rid of that in a minute. Fifteen there and five across there. Then what we want to do is start setting up our...
start setting up our um, medium stands. And I thought for now, what we could hypothetically do is come up to there maybe, and then we can start looking at our medium stand. Medium stand one can go. here, medium stand 2 can come here. Just to get us started, I think it's a nice little starting point. Um, we will build, we can build across here and, and all sorts, but just as a starting point, we'll just put them there. That's my thought. Again, all this can actually turn out to be small and we can, uh, well, no, no we can't. Let's not worry about that. Let's just try and get this in. So they're going to crack on building. I'm going to leave that to super fast forward. Because um, then what we need to do is we're going to build more terminal foundation. And that's going to come across here. It's going to be quite large. And we can put it here. That's absolutely fine. Add it there and there. And oh, what we can do, actually, before they start thinking about building that row, that taxiway foundation, is we can get rid of it. We don't actually need it there. And then what can happen is our service road come up here and around there. There we go. Until we get underground service roads, that's going to have to do for now. Um, so um, you can actually have vehicles going to cut across here. So it's not the end of the world that that's there for now. But yeah, it looks quite nice. And we can have um, we can have people going under. So we can actually put a escalator going underneath, build foundation downwards so they can go under here and they can end up being in, in this can all be one sort of gateway of, of loads of aircrafts and all sorts. We can make something very pretty out of this actually um, but yeah, at the moment it, this is how it looks um, so this is what we're going with, just just so we can test a lot of the new features in the game and and stuff really. So we want to remove that wall, we want to remove that wall and what we need to do is probably remove all of this as well. We don't need this wall. None of this wall is needed. Let's let them build. They're going to be a minute. Um, they seem to be cracking on quite nicely, which is good news. Um, so yeah, that's nice. Now it says purchase at least one stair truck. Um, oh, let's do that. Let's get the other project group done. That way then we can have three project groups doing loads of stuff at one time. Um, and we can even reduce project time, which is obviously a good thing to reduce. Um, but we'll get to that. <laughs> um, so, what we want to do is, uh, in this instance, let's have a look. Um, oh, we've got new flights, actually. Yeah, we probably want to book in. Go back. Skylink. Can we get in? It's a bit too early. Oh, we can get a Skylink in there. Let's get a Skylink flight in there. Goose Wings. This is actually Goose Wings' own. Uh, one o'clock, so five o'clock. There, yeah, that's good. Uh, let's get the two goose wings flights there. That looks good. Uh, I can't believe we can't squeeze a flight in here. No, that's a shame. Nor there, no. So that's actually us full on there. And then on Saturday we can get in. Um, let's get in a six o'clock flight. Why not? Um, actually squeeze in a six o'clock flight there as well and then squeeze in that and squeeze in that I think that's looking pretty good we're yeah and and we're pretty much out of all the flights that we could be offered um, active flights we're, we're pretty much maxing out on these two so we might want to look at getting in a new airline as well um, but that's not a problem either so right now we've got this new sort of shaped airport. Um, I will be making changes to this, don't worry, because um, it is a bit of an eyesore. Uh, but what we do need to do is get those vehicles in. So, stair trucks. I'm going to order two. We're going to have one on each, and they're going to be parked at their respected stands. So, um, we're going to start immediately naming this. So, this is going to be uh, MS1. It's not a great name, but it stands for medium standard. MS2. And they just make it actually easier to manage, um, really, to be honest. Um, but yeah, there we go. So we've got those two stands. What we also need to do um, for early starters, just because we're not going to have jetways yet, 
is we're going to need to put doors in place. Oh my word. They make it really difficult to place doors because maybe this is something they need to look at doing. But when you select doors, it comes up with all this. There we go. I can just turn it off. But maybe it shouldn't be on, if that makes sense. Just, just, just that's something you could do without, I think. Um, we need a procurement director. Um, so we need to hire, go to executives, go to procurement. Um, you're the cheapest one, so we're going to hire you. I'm going to hire a strategy director whilst I'm here as well. Um, a HR director. Why not? This is going really well. Um, uh, CIO, you're the cheapest CIO. You're the cheapest CFO. And you're the by far cheapest COO, but you will be very bad at your job. Where's my CEO? <laughs> we, we need to train you. We're going to train you up. There we go. Excellent. Now, the reason we're doing that, um, hiring them all, is I'm going to put Auto Planner in place. This means that any new flights, they will book for me. I don't actually have to do anything, um, which is good news. We, we quite like that. Um, what we need to do is we need to do the Jet A1 fuel um, thing, which we can't quite do yet, but we're getting close to doing. So whilst we're waiting for that, we can actually put some desks in place. Um, so I'm going to put in this medium desk. Oh, we can't. It's not in the secure zone. Oh, no. If we just... Oh, crap. If we just scan that as a secure zone... We can get some walkerators in here. Can't we? I think we can have some shops here and what we can end up doing I think let's put in, in some medium security I don't know whether we've unlocked yes we have Give them a bit more space. So we're going to get some medium security in here. If we can get some large doors in there. And there it's like, oh, this is the new area. And it's, you're going to be forced to go into a shop because I'm going to force you. Because that's what I want to do. So we're going to force um, them into shops, which is nice. Now we've got that project group done, we need to study Jet A1 fuel. Ah, we've already done Jet A1 fuel. We just need to build a Jet A1 fuel depot. So that's good news. Um, so we can do that. That's fine. Um, in the meantime... I'm going to get one franchise group researching franchise shops and then I can't do another one yet. I will sort it out. It will get sorted. What we do need to do is hire some security officers. So all of you are getting hired. Congratulations. We're going to hire some more ramp agents, even though you could be quite expensive, um, and some passenger service agents as well. There we go. So, um, yeah, what we um, should end up with is a beautiful, new, exciting, secure zone. Now, um, I am going to... I think I'm going to put a wall down there, I think. And then what we can do is make all of this secure zone 6. Um, including that. So it's all part of Secure Zone 5 now. There's no exit, but don't worry, we'll sort that. Um, I'm not too worried about that right now. What we can do um, actually is destroy 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, destroy 1, 2, 3, 4 and go security. Excellent. And then. Go security exit there. 
lovely stuff. So that's starting to take shape. We do need a couple more security officers for our medium um, section. I am going to build a bit of queuing here, which is quite a lot of queuing, but oh crap. That way, 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 that way. And finally, you going that way, that way, that way, that way, that way, that way. That way. Made that way and that way. Lovely stuff. So we should have or start to see um, our lovely security uh, teams there, which is good news. What we need to do is on the outside here is build sidewalks. Um, very, very important to the game. Uh, we build some sidewalks all along here. Um, we'll have a fence here blocking this and everything, but we'll do that um, another time. Yeah, we can, we can, we can make some tidying up changes here and there to make it look pretty another time. No real, no real worries. I put a door there and a door there because that can be our exit door, and our entrance door can be there. Um, are there for now, which is fine. I'm quite happy with that. Then what we want to do, um, I'm going to build a wall, and this wall is going to go along here. And it's just so we can establish where security is at any one time. So that can go there. Beautiful stuff. Um, now, security always, always has blue floors. Very important um, that they have blue floors. And that blue floor can really stretch. It can really go all out this time around. Um, so this is all security. Lovely blue floor. Lovely stuff. Um, there we go. Beautiful blue floors uh, to make it look super duper pretty. Lovely. Uh, we do need more security. Um, I don't know whether we can hire some more security officers. We can, so we're going to hire all of you. Well done, you've got the job. And we're going to hire... We might as well hire as many ramp agents, really, as we can. Yeah, because we don't want to fall short. And then again, same with passenger service agents. Just get them in is the general gist of things. So, um, this should be pretty much built now. Yes, it is. Lovely. Um, so, what we can start doing is focusing on the taxiway. So, uh, this needs to come out to here right down to the middle this comes out to here right down to the middle like that like that and like that it seems like a waste at the minute but trust me um, it'll make managing the flights going in and out of this medium runway which I've, I've already made very very tight um, this will probably change as well the medium runways will move right near the top um, eventually so they won't actually stay here um, which is why we've sort of built it this way to start off with and then what we want to do is right click this and set that to no entry so they have to go that way around and then what we also want to do is set that as no entry that way so they have to go in that way to get back to where they need to go effectively that's the plan um, and I think that works I think that's all I need to put in there actually so Brilliant. We now have um, our medium stand sort of set up, ready to accept flights. Um, what we need to do is get the Jet A1 fuel tanker in place. So we need to go Jet A1. Um, and this can go... Hmm... I mean, it could go here. Yeah, I don't mind it going there, actually. It's quite a cool place for it to be. Um, just for now. And I can get a uh, service road. Oh, crap. Get rid of it. Service road there. Um, service roads can just cross across these runways. They, they can. Um, and pl it doesn't interact with the planes at all. Um, because the game does it that way. Um, don't ask me why. Um, so yes, we'll get that sorted, that's in place, everything here seems to be pretty much ready to go, um, that's good news, so I don't want them to start booking in, they can't yet anyway, we'll just, we'll, act, we'll turn on the runway, that's fine. Let's get in place some boarding desks, so if we go boarding desk 1, boarding desk 2, we've only got the 2 in here at the moment. We need to get some of these large seating areas in. So if we go uh, 
here we can definitely put it um, we can go one two three and four and is it four? Oh, it's quite a way away actually one two eight oh, crap three and mm, I don't mind it there actually let's oh, crap bring them in closer Get rid, of, get rid of that. They're quite expensive, so we want to sort of save on our money a little bit. Um, we can actually bring these in. So it was, what, seven away? So we'll stay seven away there. That's fine. Beautiful stuff. Now, um, a couple of things we don't have anything of um, is we don't have any information, flight information screens. Uh, we can put one there. Um, I can end up... We can put one in... Uh, here, I suppose. Uh, another one in. Uh, where's the entrance to this area? Oh, it's sort of here, isn't it? Uh, put another one there. Another one there. There we go. So we've dotted some flight information screens about. Um, no one can really complain um, now. So that's good news. Um, so, <sighs> effectively, what we have Terminal 1, Terminal 2, and this will be Terminal 3. So, we need some more check-in desks. I don't know... No, we still have only small ones. <laughs> These are so diddy, I don't know what the point of them is. Um, that's fine. We can go... Um, we're going to do it a bit different. Oh, crap. We're going to put them in there. One, two. Then a gap of two. 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 There we go. Everything will look good in the end. That, that's the way I look at it. What we'll also do is put in a wall. Um, oh, it's not perfect now, is it? Goodness me. That, it just seems like a waste, doesn't it? You've got to have it look at least nice, don't you? Everyone's looking at me going, oh my word, what a palava this is. But there we go. Look at that. No real worries. You're coming and building it anyway. Let's get these check-in desks in place. So... Whilst they're getting the check-in desks in, we'll get a couple of things that we have in every section of our airport anyway. Um, so we'll get some nice seating down. Um, this can go here, to be honest with you. Um, there we go. Nice seating. A little bit more because it's medium. Um, and then what we'll also do is grab our trusty old vending machines and we'll just put them there. There we go. Everything will look nice. Um, we probably want to get more seating in and some more nicer seating in at some point. And we will put some shops and whatnot down here. Um, yeah. So we're going to connect those stands up. One and two. Lovely stuff. So those two stands are now connected. That means we should... Should be open. And they are. Now whether we'll get any medium flights straight away, I don't know. But as soon as we do, we should... We should start getting them now. I do need to purchase an A1... Um, oh, crap. An A1 fuel car. The, do you know the interesting thing? You can't actually sort... What's, what's this button doing? You can't actually sort what ones you want. So you know when you search them here, look, oh, look, I've got all this sorting. You don't do that when you buy them, which makes little to no sense to me. Um, we're going to get... Because we're going to do all the commercial flights as well. And we're going to get five trucks in. Sounds crazy, but right? Sounds really crazy. But we're going to get five trucks in. We've completed the project. Actually, we've completed two, so shops is now done. And, oh crap, get that back up. Um, and so is this. Multiple terminal operations. This is the one we wanted to unlock. Because this actually separates the terminals. So this actually does the job it's meant to do. Now, um, I'm going to start researching it now and hopefully it'll be ready for the next episode. Um, so I'm going to research it now. We'll put all eight on that. Go for it. Do what you can, guys. Do what you can. Um, I have noticed they probably need to look at, because I can't get down to automation. I can make the UI smaller and get to it, but I can't actually get down to automation. Um... Not that I know what automation is. Self-checking desks. Oh, wow. Okay. How long is that going to take? 
I can't see it through there. Um, we can click it. Oh, there we go. So, automatic bag drop, self-boarding gates. Wow, automatic passport checkpoints. How ruddy fantastic is that? And it takes only six hours. That's cool, I suppose. Um, there are more pressing things, though, I suppose. One of them being the floor construction permit. We do sort of need it. It is quite important. And um, it will unlock stairs and all sorts of things. So I am going to focus on that. And I have three. So we should be able to get that sorted. I can do another project, but I just haven't got any administrators. Only this one keeping up costs down, upkeep costs down, which is fine. Now what we need to do is go to vehicles. Um, I'm going to assign these to a lot. Um, I thought we got more of these in. Oh, can you not assign them to... I thought we could assign fuel trucks. Maybe we can't assign fuel trucks. I don't think you can. With stair trucks is what we wanted to assign. So we wanted to assign these to MS1 and MS2. Fuel trucks you actually can't. I didn't realise that. Um, so they're actually going to live in the depot furthest away from the fueling station, which is all the way over here. That's quite inconvenient. Um, didn't overly think that through. Um, so whoops, I suppose is the general term. So what we probably could do with... Um, is another one. Um, <laughs> we really fought this through. Um, but there's nowhere really to put it until we go underground and stuff. So, yeah, we're going to have to leave that for now. That's really frustrating. We'll enable the service. It, it, we have a lot of time to turn stuff around, so I'm not too worried about that. So we'll activate that service. And there we have it. So, we're starting to unlock... Oh, purchase a pushback truck. Oh, we'll get that out of the way. Let's just quickly purchase the pushback truck. Um, we need two. And it, you can't afford it. We've got no money! Bloody hell, where did all that go? Goodness gracious me. We actually I've never ever been in the situation where I have no money. Wow. Ha! <laughs> yeah, well, we're officially poor. That that that's weird. Um we're gonna have to take a loan. Cool. Which loan? This one. No, let's not be silly. We only need that amount of money. Let's take that loan out. There we go. <laughs> Goodness gracious me. We had no money. The good news is, on the plus side, um, is we will start getting medium flights soon. Although goose wings are completely... We, we're not getting any at the minute. Um, <laughs> let's get... Um, crap. We need to order a pushback truck. That, that was the whole issue there. That's why we needed money. Um, let's go back to vehicles. Let's hire two pushback trucks. There we go. And we'll assign those pushback trucks to uh, these stands. Now what we need is, um, just before we go, um, I'm going to try and sign a contract with an airline that only deals with medium aircraft. Um, ideally. I don't need one that deals with small... I don't... Maple are... A big company, so they will have. There we go, Nordic. I knew there was one, um, and Swiftly. They're the two. We'll take them. Um, so what we can do is, um, I'm not too worried about who comes in and where at the minute. For those, we'll start organising that a little bit better soon. Um, but what matters is our new products have arrived. So those vehicles we can assign. Assign to MS1. Why can't I assign that one yet? Any particular reason? Probably because it wasn't quite in my airport yet. There we go, and MS2. So, <sighs> I'm looking forward to getting some bigger commercial flights. Um, I love that we still have to refuel five commercial flights, and we won't be able to do that until the morning anyway, but there's no need to worry there. Um, thank you very much for all tuning in to this lovely, lovely, lovely episode, and I will catch you all on the flippity flip where we look at more Alpha 35. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.